Hey guys, it's Max. How's everyone doing? I appreciate you being here. Check out these high yield funds at the end of the day. See what happened. Here it is. Market's been closed almost two hours. It's a little bit past the end of the day. I should have come on and done this earlier. Let, first, we're going to check and see how the market closed up. Let's look at the S&P. It's working on a something else. That's why I was looking at some big tech. Look how beautiful that is now that's a monthly chart holy shit <laughs> so the monthly just the monthly chart uh if you look at the trending signals i like to follow on the monthly charts it gave gosh darn it gave right there second it, it gave a bullish signal january of 11 january 3rd of 2011 and it hasn't given a bearish one yet it's just a trending signal uh, and this can't predict the future it just said hey it's up it's trending right now it's trending up so if somebody was following that in the monthly time frame is a pretty long time frame it's been it has not given a counter signal since then on the monthly time frame so that would have been pretty nice. What was the price of the S&P was, or the SPY was around 128. What's it at now? 620. Been a nice little trade. What is that? Uh, 13 years or something. Anyway, been a hell of a run. Wonder how long it'll continue. A lot of people thought it was done back here and it was done here and it was done here. Maybe it really is done here this time, but we'll see. All right. Uh, we shall see. Let's go down to 30 minutes and see what's happening. And we're going to look at the high yield funds too. All right. On the 30 minute chart, the last hour, the last half hour pulled back a little bit, but hell it's, it's fine on the 30 minute chart, the same trending little signal we were looking at. You could use it on the 30 minute chart. Um, well, it, uh, it was bullish around spy 591 and that was but this is on the 30 minute chart and that was november of this month you can use it in different time frames and it gave a bullish signal and right that was around spy 590 or something right now we're sitting spy what, 605 i guess let's just switch the spy i'm converting it in my head it's different by it one digit but spy 590 was the signal and we're still bullish at 603. Now, eventually we'll get a counter signal. We'll get a signal the other way. We got a sell signal right here and the, and the market sold off from SPY 595 to real quick 585. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, okay, so that's the SPY. Let's look at the Altiverse. These are all the Alti stocks and how they did today. The average Alti stock was down or Alti itself was down 20 bips. The average Alti stock was down 96 bips. Good job. Alti outperformed by quite a big margin. They have the same stocks they have that they have had in lately. They've kept the same stocks. I'll, I'll look at the trades and I'll update these stocks tomorrow, these positions. I'll also update the weightings. This is how big each position is in the portfolio. And you can see TNA, which is triple leverage Russell, and TQQ, TQQQ, which is triple leverage NASDAQ, are absolutely on fire and their positions are growing. But uh, I mentioned earlier something about Planeteer and Tesla being in good with the current administration. And uh, I think they should be good for the, you know, for the foreseeable future. And they've been good ever since the election. Uh, let's see what else is good. Snow, Snowflake, that's great. So those are kind of the biggest weightings. The smallest weightings are really Mobileye, DJT, and uh, I think that's, I forget, SYEM, something like Semantic or something, but or Simtech. Let's look at the Alti grid because we can actually see what that is in case you guys... Sim, oh, it's Symbiotic. He has 110,000 shares of Symbiotic, and he sold a call, and then he's bought a put. All right, well, that's 
that's that one. All right, so now let's go to the sing to the index buffer report. So the SPY was up about 18 bips today. The best performing of the funds related to the SPY would be XDTE. Great job, XDTE, as well as SFAL. But then also iSPY, SPY I did really well. WDTE did not do, well, wait a second here. Oh, yeah, WDTE did not do too bad. XDTE did very well. All right, so in the NASDAQ land, KQQ, the Curve Fund, had a really nice day. FEPI looked really good as well. YMAX and YMAG killing it. Clip having a good day. YBTC and Maxi pulling back. All right, single stock buffer report. SMCY, look at that up 20 freaking percent in one day. All right, let's look on the bad side. Anyone outperforming the parent on the downside? Yes, Snowy is. Everyone else showing buffer. Okay, on the good side, besides SMC, I and Y being up so much, uh, we have Coney beating the parent, as is Murney. Great job. Sky's getting a ton of upside. That's good to see. All right, so uh, let's go to... I had some content and I showed two option trades. We'll just, I'm not going to talk about them, but we'll just see how they're doing. One of them is in this, uh, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce this exactly. Galactin or Galactin or something. It's a pharmaceutical uh, anti-cancer biotech, small, maybe startup or something. But anyway, uh, here's the trade for it. It may not look like much from here, but I kind of liked it and there's some content on it. Go watch that. Uh, then also here's a load of dice with same type of trade on clean spark. Um, this is a, this is where they sold a put spread to finance a call spread, but it's, uh, also a decent looking trade in my opinion. We'll keep an eye on these and see how these work out. Now, clean spark has earnings. I believe maybe tomorrow after the bell, let's check out the earnings. So we know what to expect the rest of the week. Yeah, Clean Spark has earnings today after the close. They've already had earnings. Okay, well, let's see how we did. Okay, well, we're doing, well, I, I don't know. Okay, so it said, I don't know if that's post hours, if it's after hours trade. Let's do it like this. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> Now we're uh, it was trading around 14 and a quarter. Now it's trading at 13 and a half. Probably be fine. Let's go back and look at the trade. These trades have a built in buffer. So if we close at 13 and a half, that's well within the profit. That's $700 profit, something like that. We're just looking for above 1025 for a break even on that one. All right. So, um, see what else is going on. Then Z Scaler has earnings, uh, tomorrow after the close, we have some other earnings. We may have content on that, but then I also saw a stock, this one, Galactin pharmaceuticals that appears like something may be going on. Because it has 440% IV. Now, granted, it's been higher before this summer. It was 800%. In any event, I saw an opportunity to uh, put a trade on that grabs some income and is also long at the same time. That's the idea behind that trade. It's an income trade, but it is still also has long exposure to the stock. All right, guys. Well,
Well, I guess that's it for today. Um, I guess maybe I did not talk about Max's volatility simulator today or volatility modeler. Let's check real quick to see what volatility is doing. It's fine. Every, everything's green means go. Volatility's down, which is bullish for the market. Any measure I'm looking at. Yeah. And it's it's been green means go since Friday the 22nd. So, um, you know, not, that doesn't mean it's going to stay like that. Price scale. Let's show this one. Doesn't mean it's going to stay like that. It just means it's like that now. So you can see uh, right here on this chart when volatility went down right here around Friday the 22nd and Monday the 25th. The S&P was around 595 that day. And today we sit at 603, eight points later. Anyway, we'll see how long it keeps trending. The opposite will happen here in a little while. At some point, the opposite will happen. Volatility will start trending up. The market will start trending down. We'll keep an eye on that. Existing pain below. I don't know. I always screw that up. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you all for being here. You have a good day. And I'll be back in the morning with the Altiverse. I bet you anything, Jay has clean spark in the portfolio well maybe not but i wouldn't be at all surprised if he has some of those stocks we talked about that have earnings coming up all right guys take care